What's up everyone, Daniel here, and in this video I'm gonna talk about some reasons why you might wanna use Arch Linux, and then I'm also gonna talk about a few reasons you might not want to use Arch Linux. So, let's go. So this video is sponsored by me trying to get you to click Amazon affiliate links in the description. So I included a couple of books that I thought you might find interesting as well as a couple of products. So even if you don't plan on buying anything today, I think they're worth a look. And I also want to say if you find value in this video, I'd really appreciate it if you'd hit the like button. And if you want to see more stuff like this, you can hit the subscribe button as well as the little bell so you'll get notifications when I put out a new video. So I just want to get into it. Let's start with reason number one why you might want to use Arch Linux. That reason is vanilla packages. I love that the packages in Arch are mostly vanilla, meaning that unlike the other distributions, when you install software, it's the way that the developer intended it to be. It's mostly untouched. With Arch, they take it from the upstream, they compile it, they package it, and then they ship it. Where in other distributions, it seems like no matter what you install, it's been modified in some way, shape, or form. And this is really apparent when you install things like desktop environments because there'll be a whole bunch of distribution specific themes. There'll be plugins installed. There'll be like 15 wallpapers that are distribution specific. To me, that's the package maintainer making decisions for me that I didn't necessarily ask them to. And so, I like to do my customizations on my own. If I decide that I want to use a plugin, then I'll install the plugin. And that's just how I prefer my systems to be set up. So next up, the reason number two you might want to use Arch Linux is the unsurpassed amount of software that's available. So the Arch repository currently only contains like 8,300 packages or something like that. But as an Arch user, you can also access the AUR, which hosts like 50,000 packages. And so combined with those two together, Arch users have access to more software than any other distribution that I'm aware of. The other thing that I think is pretty awesome about Arch that kind of goes along with the AUR packages thing is the Arch build system. So if somehow the software you wanted isn't available in the AUR and it's not in the Arch repository, then they've created this system called the Arch build system that makes it really easy to compile software from source and it makes it easily distributed so that once you've figured out how to get it to build in Arch using the Arch build system, then you can upload it to the AUR and anyone can use that and then they're able to install that software and you're just adding one more package to the AUR. So this all kind of brings me to my next point, number three, which is flexibility. There's this, what I consider to be a common misconception about Arch and that it's just inherently lightweight and I don't feel like that's the case. I do feel like Arch provides the flexibility to create an incredibly lightweight system, but it also has all of the software necessary to make an incredibly heavy, feature-rich operating system like you'd expect from Manjaro or Ubuntu or Mint. And so because of the vast number of packages that are available, there's really no limit to the way that you can set your system up. So you can mix and match and modify whatever it takes to get a system that's perfectly fine-tuned for your workflow and what you do with your computer. Reason number four that I really like Arch Linux is the package manager Pac-Man. I've played around with a lot of distros. I've used Ubuntu for years, I used Mint for quite a long time, and I still actively use Manjaro on one of my MacBooks. And of all of the pac managers that I've used, including apt and yum and DNF, Pac-Man has just been the one that's the most efficient for me to use and the one that I picked up the quickest and the one that I felt to be the most powerful. Being able to completely upgrade my system in less than like 20 characters is incredible. It's just one command to fully sync all of my repositories and update all of the packages to their latest version. And I can't think of another package manager that handles that so gracefully. And so the last one on my list of reasons to use Arch Linux, number five, is that Arch is a rolling release distribution. What that means is that there's never a time where you need to completely upgrade your distro. So there's no version releases. 
And so you never have to completely reinstall or gamble with a distribution upgrade. You just always have the most up-to-date packages at all times. And that does have the drawback of potentially having a little bit of instability. And I know that Arch has that reputation of being a little bit unstable, but I can tell you that I have used Arch on a lot of systems, a lot of different systems with different end goals in mind and different workflows and rarely has instability ever been an issue for me. And since I hate reinstalling my operating system if I can avoid it, I really, really love the rolling release model. And so those are the big reasons that I think Arch is a great distribution, but like any distribution or like anything at all, it's not for everyone. And so here's a few reasons that I think that you might want to consider a different distribution and not use Arch. So the first thing that comes to mind as a reason not to use Arch Linux is that you're already happy with the distribution or the operating system that you're using right now. Maybe it seems a bit stupid to say that, but I think that there's like this stigma that there should be a progression for Linux users. Like, you know, as a beginner, you should use Ubuntu and once you feel comfortable, move to Mint and then eventually switch up to Manjaro until you finally have enough experience to install Arch and then you're in the big leagues and you're a real Linux user at that point. I think all of that is stupid. If you have already installed Ubuntu or Mint or Manjaro and it does everything that you need and you don't have any problems and it has all the software you want, then there's really no good reason to switch away from that. And honestly, to hell with anyone that says anything different, in my opinion. So the next one I know can be a really big deal to some people, and it's not really for me, which is why I use Arch, but it's that if you have an issue using software that's not free and open source as defined by the GNU, then Arch probably isn't for you because this isn't at the core values and it isn't part of the Arch way. It is possible, but it's not built in such a way that it makes that easily accessible. And there are plenty of other options for distributions like PureOS, where they have that at their core values and they're built in such a way that you will only ever be using free software. So my next reason, number three, to not use Arch is that you don't want to do it yourself. Sure, it has the benefit of helping you learn about Linux and it helps you create this fine-tuned system where your workflow is perfect, but it also has this one glaringly obvious drawback in that it doesn't work out of the box. Some people feel like that when they install an operating system, it should just work and that's perfectly reasonable. And sometimes that's just the right option that no one should be able to tell you otherwise. So if you're the type of person that just wants to install Linux on their system and use it, then Arch probably isn't for you. So after all is said and done, um, it's, you're the only one that can decide whether or not Arch is right for you. And you're also not put in a position where you like have to choose a distribution. I know a lot of people advise against distro hopping and I, we have the technology with virtualization and most computers are powerful enough that you can spin it up in a VM and play with it for a while. And if you like it, you can try it on your hardware. And if you don't, you can switch to something else. That's kind of the beauty of Linux is that you've got this freedom of choice, but ultimately you're the one that actually has to decide. And I think that if you're interested in learning about Linux, it's definitely worth a shot. Again, you could do it in a VM or something. And there's plenty of information out there. The Arch Wiki is incredible. It's relevant to not just only Arch, but most Linux distributions. So all of that being said, I hope I was informative. I hope I was helpful. Please let me know in the comments if you think I've missed something or if maybe I touched on a subject that you hadn't thought of before. I'd be really interested in hearing that. And if you wanna see more content like this, please hit subscribe if this was helpful to you. Hit the like button. Until next time, peace.